Joining us now is Ojini Ka Oji Ope with stories trending around the world. Thank God it's Friday. Is it Jinx? Friday today? My best Friday. day of the week. Sometimes I miss those days. <laughs> Rufa is too day. happy. How are you? How was your trip? It was good. It was Fantastic. Good. Ayo, I saw you to, um, yesterday. Yeah. Glamorous. Thank you. Really. <laughs> well, all right. <laughs> good morning to you viewers. Here are some of the stories that are trending across the globe. In Cairo, Egypt, the president of the African Export-Import Bank, Professor Benedicto Rama, was awarded on Thursday Forbes Africa Magazine 2023 Person of the Year. The award recognizes the stellar accomplishments of leading Africans contributing to the development of the continent. The managing editor of the magazine credited Orama as a true Pan-Africanist at the award ceremony, which also featured the unveiling of the cover for Forbes Africa's December 2023, January 2024 edition, featuring him as the cover personality. I dedicate this honor to, to all of you, to the bank and to the people of Africa. Thank you once again. In Nigeria, the $19 billion Dangote refinery is finally poised to commence fuel production as the first crude shipment carrying 950,000 barrel cargo crew, which set sail on December 6, arrived at the Dangote offshore facility on Thursday, marking a significant milestone for the country's oil industry. The Dangote refinery, which had faced recurrent delays since its announcement in 2013, aims to reduce Nigeria's reliance on gasoline imports and transform the country's oil industry landscape, potentially leading to self-sufficiency in gasoline production by 2040. Then, Nigerian billionaire businessman and philanthropist Femi Otedola has solidified his position as a major force in the African business scene and the Nigerian economy with his stake in two companies, one worth over one trillion naira and the second almost reaching the trillion naira threshold. The latest achievement comes as the market capitalization of First Bank of Nigeria Holdings, the country's oldest lender, surpassed the one trillion naira mark, mirroring the success of Otedola's rapidly growing power generation company, Gerigu Power PLC, with over 997 billion naira market car. In the United Kingdom, BBC presenter Miriam Moshiri made a television blunder after she gave the middle finger live on air. The reporter had been fronting the midday news on Wednesday, December 6th, and was seen raising her eyebrows and flipping off the camera as she came on screen after the program's famous musical countdown ended. Live from London, this is BBC News. Under sports, Napoli striker Victor Oshimen and Barcelona forward Asisha Toshola have been named among the CAF Player of the Year final three-man list for the men and women categories, respectively. Oshimen, who finished as the top scorer in the 2023 African Cup of Nations qualifiers, will battle Egypt's Mohamed Salah, Morocco's Akwa Fakimi for the award, while 29-year-old Oshuola, who is the reigning African Women's Player of the Year, will compete against South Africa's Tembi Klaglana and Zambia's Barbara Banda. The award ceremony will take place on December 11th in Marrakesh, Morocco. To Rossini. Elmas lifts it towards Ossiman. Elmas hit you with the ball in. Ossiman and still. Ossiman. He's got a wonderful goal. Fingers crossed. Well, let's begin what's trending. The 14th Emir of Kano. And a former governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Sanusi Lamido Sanusi, on Wednesday called for a proper audit of the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited 
adding that the president of Nigeria should not be the minister of petroleum. Sanusi made this known while delivering his remarks at the bank director's summit in Abuja. The former emir, who was CBN governor from June 2009 to February 2014, also noted that his insistence for the audit of the NNPC was what cost him his job at the Apex Bank. Well, let's take a listen before we come back for a discussion. We cannot afford to continue producing the oil and not seeing the revenue. We are no longer paying subsidies. So where are the dollars? Before it was under recovery. Now we don't have under recovery. Where is the money? It was the issue I raised for which I was suspended. You can suspend me again. Okay, but it is an issue that this country must address. NMPC is the most opaque oil company in the world. When I was in the central bank for 15 years, they had not been audited. We paid 11 trillion naira in fuel subsidy. There is no accountability up to now. The National Assembly called NMPC to bring the documents. They refused. And by the way, let me advise, let me advise that this idea of the president being petroleum minister is not a good idea. We, the last president was minister of petroleum for eight years. When I was governor of Central Bank, we had a petroleum minister. So when I talked about NMPC, I could attack Dizani. Now nobody can talk about petroleum because eight years, if you talk, you are attacking the president. We need that buffer. Somebody has to be there. So a minister has to be there who is held accountable by Nigerians. No, Rufai, like he yeah. said, I mean, this actual um, insistence was what cost him his job back in 2014. It is not the first time Sanusi Lamido is advocating for the president not to be the minister of petroleum. Yeah. We've had even other CSOs advocate for this as well. I'd like to hear your thoughts on that. And also the fact that he talked about where is the dollars? Why are the dollars right now? But it's great that the Dangote refinery is set, you know, to start full production. And hopefully that would be a huge saver in Forex. Someone should point out one lie in what Emi Asanusi said. If you can point out one lie, I'll clap for you. There is no lie. You, all he said is what we've been saying all this while. They say they've removed subsidy. Where is the dollar? Maybe they were supposed to have his savings from the subsidy that we put in the currency. We are still going to borrow. Where is even the 10 billion they said they want to go and borrow to buffer? Somebody was telling me this one that dollar to naira on the, on the black market is 1,200 now. Where is the money <coughs> to buffer? And you see, talked about uh, money then. They pushed it, they said it was the problem. Talked about 120 billion. They said from there, they said it's not true. Where is the money? Why can't the NMPC be on there? Didn't we call for a forensic audit of the NMPC before President Tinubu even removed subsidy? So it's opaque. That's why I say anybody that can point out one lie in what he has said should come out. We'll clap for them. There is no lie in what he's been saying. And the idea of the president being the, what's it called? And a, lot, a lot of people have argued uh, based on convention, blah, 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 and everything. No. Mm -hmm. We should have that level of opacity. Because if you keep saying the president should be, why can't the president also be solid mineral? Is it because oil is bringing more money? It's just one department that brings more money. If we're thinking economy, what should be bringing more money to the country is the productivity of Nigerians. Mm -hmm. Companies are leaving. Look at P, look at P and Gina, Procter and Gamble. Mm -hmm. Remember back in days when Dunlop left? Remember when Michelin left? Mm -hmm. All these companies were leaving. So why can't we focus on the productivity of the company? Because when you look at even oil, how much is it added to the GDP? Not much. All it does, it has a lot of the governmental revenue. Right. So there is nothing Sanusi has said that is wrong here. Well, now that well, NFC has yes, 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 Because I was in the arena, mm -hmm. the 2014 that you referred to, when he left at CBN governor. And of course, yes, part of the issue then was that he had raised alarm that money was missing, okay? And one thing led to another. I don't need to rehash that. Now, he made a number of points. He was speaking at the Bankers Directors Association of uh, Nigeria uh, Conference yesterday in Abuja. And he made a number of points. One, about uh, the banking sector, the need for bankers to shore up trust among the people. Two, he talked about the need for the Ancon Levy to be retained, 
The Amcon levy means that the banks will pay about 0.5% of their assets at year end and put it into Amcon. And he said, contrary to what many bankers have been pushing for, particularly the chairman of BDAN, uh, that's uh, Mustafa Chikiobi, that that Amcon uh, levy should stay. Three, he said that uh, the CBN Act is good as it is, and it should not be amended, because to try and amend that CBN Act will give politicians an opportunity to uh, put politics into it. All of that. Having been a CBN bank banker and having been a career banker himself, he knows it. Now, he talked about the opaqueness of uh, NMPC. Yes, he's right in that regard, because the audit that he's asking for, do you know that for 43 years in this country, nobody audited NMPC accounts until 2020, when the present uh, MD of NMPC, as it then was, uh, now CEO uh, of uh, NMPCL, released the 2019 and 2020 audited reports. That was the first time NMPC would release any audited accounts. Despite the existence of NATI, NATI under Waziri Adio, and NATI under uh, uh, Obuna Yaoji, who is there now, have also you know, published raised a number of questions. But where we are now, different from where we were in 2014, is that at least now under Mele Kiari, NMPC audits its accounts and publishes. And we can only insist on that because that's part of what uh, Emi Asanusi was asking for when he was CBN governor. Finally, he's saying that the president should not also be uh, minister of petroleum. Okay, if we check from 2019, the, mini the, the minister of petroleum had always been the president from Obasanjo to uh, Yaradwa. Then under President Jonathan, President Jonathan appointed a Minister of Petroleum. Okay. Dezani Ali Sema Dweke. Well, go and check the experience of uh, most people during uh, Dezani Ali Sema Dweke's uh, tenure as uh, Minister of Petroleum. She was so powerful. Mm. Indeed, at council meetings, I'm giving you eyewitness account. I'm sorry, Before the president will enter council meeting, Many ministers will go and greet her specially. She was also very beautiful. Well, no, they will go and greet her specially, <laughs> with the exception of uh, Mohamed Adoke, with the exception of Ungozi Okonjo Uyala, and the Minister of Aviation, then uh, Stella, Odua. Stella Odua. But all the other ones, they will be queuing up to greet her because of the power in that office. It's not about beauty. It's I about know. The power. I, I, of course, that was so It's about the power in that <laughs> office. So, I most presidents... She's still beautiful, by most the way. Presidents, <laughs> most presidents... We want to hold the portfolio All right. so that they will hold the authority because that is Nigeria's pot of soup. But does that so make it right? Many That's of them the will be reluctant to go and give it to somebody else. Yeah. And then there will be arguments about ethnicity. Uh, you know, uh, why did you make uh, this person from this part of the country, Minister of Petroleum? The minister exercises his delegated authority right. if he wants to keep the portfolio <laughs> himself for purposes of national peace. It, it's just a pragmatism, All right. it's just wisdom. You're All right. Go on this show, Doctor about you. <laughs> <laughs> we are, are we clear? Shall we take another story, guys? Yeah. We'll take another story. Yeah, we clear. Well, all right. The minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Yesom Wike, has reacted to protesters who called for his resignation on Wednesday, saying that they have been paid. The protesters had accused Wike of being inconsiderate of the plight of the SCT residents, adding that his actions have been controversial. Well, in the meantime, a video has emerged showing the minister singing and dancing to Tinubu's Song of Allegiance. On your mandate, we shall stand. Let's take a look. <laughs> Yes, sir. <laughs> In the chief of staff's office. Well done. Very nice. I'm glad to. I'm glad to see this. I love it. Our new Michael Jackson. He, that was in the chief of staff's office. He said. But you know, isn't it on your mandate, Bola? On your man. So now he's made a new one. It's a I love it. Jagaba. Wicked. Legendary. Go ahead. 
<laughs> I think that's probably his favorite song. And and let's not be surprised because yes. when he was governor, he had a personal band that yes, was he did. And he composed <laughs> a number of famous songs. So this maybe perhaps song now. we need his band to give back up to On Your Mandate. I don't know what the chorus will be. It's On Your Mandate. Jaguar. Okay, so Jaguar. Jaguar. Right. And he, I hope uh, Bolali Austin Peters <laughs> is watching. Yeah. Because uh, when uh, Governor uh, Minister Wiki oh, leaves office, he, he may need another that. career. <laughs> and uh, Bolali Austin Peters can uh, oh, find good God. use uh, for his talent by putting him in a cast to perform on stage. He will be he's, quite an attraction on stage. He will be. Yeah. 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 Yesterday we talked about... Yeah. 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 Don't, don't sell your mandate. You have to sell that now. Don't, don't give it for free. The mandate. Yeah. Starry. He has some wiki. It will be a sellout. Go like your St. Peter's, please. Yeah. You have yes. a likely recruit here in the future. You might not have to wait till after yes. office. I don't know what the policy is with mm -hmm. having a side hustle as minister. You yes. just might go into it immediately. Really? Right. Really? Right. Really? Right. Really? Right. 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 All right. So yesterday, Day. We took the story yes, about the protesters did. in Abuja, you know, just protesting the high handedness of Minister Yeson Wiki, and almost as if in response and to demonstrate the fact that he doesn't, he's not paying attention to what he's described as people who were paid to protest against him and saying that it's a distraction from him focusing on doing the work that he was said. I'm going to I'm take his quote. He said that as, as leaders, you must be firm, you must be bold, you must be courageous to take decisions. While I agree with him, what we also said yesterday was the fact that as a leader, you must also have heart. You must also consider the people. You can't be too high-handed even when you're trying to um, sanitize mm -hmm. things. And that's where the criticism of the people. You cannot lead a people that do not want to be led by you. Yeah. You will be resisted at every turn. And no matter how great your policies are, you can cushion it in such a way that you're still achieving results mm -hmm. whilst being, you know, I'm attentive to the people. Margaret Thatcher of the UK in the early 70s was um, um, termed um, Thatcher Thatcher's milk snatcher because in order to save four million pounds, um, she had um, stopped giving free milk to over sevens in schools. Yeah. And many years later, 20 years, she still talked about the fact that she regretted the actions because it demonized her amongst obviously other policies that she had made in the UK. Yeah. What am I trying to say here? Yes, it was in, okay, we're trying to save money. The UK was in, was in, was in, we need a revenue. However, the impact of that years later still mm -hmm. spoke. It's the same thing. Yes. If you're going to lead and make policies, you must also recognize that you're not leading inanimate objects or animals. Mm -hmm. These are human beings yes. with emotions, with feelings. Absolutely. So you have to think about that. You cannot keep saying, I don't care what they're saying, I'll continue doing. Mm -hmm. You're a leader for a reason and a leader must lead with heart, even though he's being firm and, you know, and, and very and courageous. Absolutely. I love that. Well, let's hope that this new song will help uh, <laughs> soften the heart of the FCT Hopefully. residents because, you know, music has a way of doing damage control. <laughs> well, all right. Sorry. Well, let's take another story then. Two officers of the Nigeria police force were caught on camera demanding money from a Dutch woman who was on her way to Abuja on a motorcycle. <laughs> In the now viral footage, the officers appeared surprised to see the woman traveling alone on the motorbike, unaware that they were being filmed. They stopped her and asked her what she brought from her country. Let's take a look. How are you? Hello. Hello. How is everything? Everything is fine. From where? Netherlands. Yeah? Netherlands. Where you from? What do you bring from? See the that? Yeah? Oh, you see where they go? Where they go? Abuja. Abuja. Ah. Uh. See. What you do? Yeah, yeah, sir. Yeah, sir. How are you? How are you? Give me something else. How is for everything? Me. Everything is fine. Family. Huh? How is family? Good. Family is good. <laughs> this water. Yeah. Give me hey, what you like? bring, what you bring come? Huh? What, what you, you bring come? I say what you bring come? What you want give me? <laughs> hey, wait till now, wait till you won't give me. Oh, yeah, give me something. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah give me something. Huh? Give me something. <laughs> you give me something. Yeah. <laughs> give me money. 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 Why? 
Rufai, this has got to be a skit. I will not believe that that's real. No, it's not a skit. It's, it's real. It's not a skit. In yeah, fact, okay. I follow her a lot. Okay. You can follow her because she's got a very inspiring story. She, she used to work in I mean, management. <laughs> Then she stopped her work in Netherlands and she got a bag. They started driving around the world. Her name is Norali. Yes. You know, I paid his itchy boots. Uh, before she came to Nigeria, she was concerned about the security situation. She was constantly saying, in fact, she explores a lot more of other countries. But she's not going to be doing that for Nigeria. Yes. Because of the fact that she is um, scared about the security situation. And she's on the way to Abuja so that she can perfect her visa into Cameroon. And she was going through and she met these police officers. I mean, quite very funny, but it's also a sad in that moment Absolutely. our police force. Absolutely. And I think these two uh, Babasue police officers that provided us a lot of laughter mm -hmm. should also be called to order. Yes. We can't afford to make our country feel this way. Mm -hmm. That's her first time riding through Nigeria. She's rode through Ivory Coast, other parts of the country. In fact, she came in from Kotonu. She didn't see this kind of treatment. No. Then she saw it in Nigeria. She tagged it. Corrupt police officers ask me for money. Yeah. But in all fairness, other checkpoints, they were thrilled about her movement. They were really excited. And they said, oh, let go. I was proud of those other police officers. But when we go to these two police officers, yeah. Babasue and Luku Luku Badachi. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, you know, you know, what, what even made me laugh was the, the way they were trying to speak British English with Oibo and said, yeah. give me money. And this, this one was sure that everything was fine. This but one has a know, career comedy. He does. Oh, but Jimmy you know, I thought it was important to highlight this oh, story. Look at yeah. that. Wait till you bring come. I can't wait till you bring come. Wait till you won't give me now. <laughs> give me money. <laughs> give me money. <laughs> I mean, look at this. Very good news is that yeah. Olumiwa Dejobi, the police uh, PRO, mm -hmm. says that the, your police command yeah. has been uh, directed, right. maybe by the Inspector General of Police, uh, to identify these people properly. Yes, absolutely. Since they've been recorded, their faces are clearly shown and to ensure that they are disciplined. Yes. Uh, because these are the people who give Nigeria a bad name yeah. Yeah. and even give the Nigerian police worse name. Absolutely. Uh, Dr. Bati, next time I will tell you, waiting I bring come. <laughs> <laughs> give me money well, now. <laughs> well, all right. We'll take our final money. story. Money. Shall we? Can we make, can we take our final story? Let's take our final story by highlighting Happy Town Project, a non-governmental organization looking to bring happiness to market women and men. Founder of the project, Jaja, has been filming the women in markets around Ghana while letting them exhibit their creative talent. One of the market women, who goes by the name Mama Toli, has caught the attention of millions by singing incorrect lyrics of famous songs. Well, here she is with her special rendition of Ashake's Lonely at the Top. Oh, Mama Tolly, you made it on a ride. I love, I love, I love this book. I love this. But I uh, quickly can yeah, you highlight so I'm the trying Instagram to find page. them. These so I know it's a happy amazing. town project. Happy town project yes, on and Instagram. Yes, the, on Instagram. Raja has been doing an amazing job. He's been filming women all over markets in Ghana and in a way trying to endorse them for deals. Please follow Raja. Yes. I mean, this is it. We we took the story. Yeah. This was, I believe this was uh was it Burner Boys uh, music that they did <laughs> the last time? I believe so. But this is amazing. Congratulations to Mama uh, well, Tony. Shakespeare says. Yeah. <laughs> If music be the food of life, yes. play on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, music, it's a, a universal language. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> Even when people do not understand the yeah. lyrics, the rhythm alone, you know, uh, inspires the soul. Yes, yeah. absolutely. And, you know, this is a clear demonstration mm -hmm. of that eth ethnomusicological truth yeah. about music being a universal language. The second part, of course, is that our musicians have yeah. become 
international no, ambassadors. <laughs> and this is Ashake, that only at the top. The other time was Burna Boy. The other day was uh, Burna Boy. Yeah, Another day, the yeah. video yeah. with yeah. Phil yes. and uh, unavailable <laughs> yeah. and all of that. Yes. You know, which means, of course, that government must pay more attention Absolutely. to culture. I love that. And the art. To I the love creative that. economy. I love that. I'd like thank to you. thank you all as always. I hope you guys have a totally, great totally, weekend. Totally. Totally. I'm going to Toli tonight. I love Mama Toli. Well, all right. That's all I have for you on what's trending today. I'll see you all next week.